Yeah, is it a fiver for it, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take that, thank you. Oh no, it's horrible, isn't it? <laughs> there you go, thank you very much. I know I can't wait till it starts lightening up. It's not easy, is it, trying to no, see everything? Did you have any more games or is that it? No, that's it on there. Lovely. All right, thank you. Still? Yeah, good, thank you. Uh, um, I, got too I was much looking at... Uh, um, Final Fantasy VIII, Crash Team Racing, just the disc of... Uh, probably Final Fantasy Crash 1, uh, Control if possible as well. Which one did you... Um, is, or let's put some stuff together and just, just yeah, give me a prize, that whatever, way, well, yeah, that'd be ace, thank you. Yeah, how are you doing all right? Yeah, yeah. Not Good. Too bad. And thank you again for the game codes, mate. Oh, Appreciate yeah, don't worry it. About it. Yeah, really uh, enjoyed Alone in the Dark as well. Oh, yeah, I saw quite mixed up about it. I wasn't really sure how you about what people think. But... Yeah, I actually really enjoyed it. You played it yourself? Or? Yeah, I don't really do much like. Uh, yeah, it's having time like as well, isn't it? Yeah. I'm always after spares anyway, so. Um, what have we got? You can't see anything, can you, at this yeah, I time? <laughs> yeah, I, know. I, I don't have a full-on torch, I'll just use the phone <laughs> light for a bit. Yeah, I've already had one guy around, he's already picked up a couple of bits. Oh, is he, yeah? He's got, yeah, Dreamcast game and something, not somewhere else. Oh, yeah. And that's a few good cards in that thing. Oh, is it, yeah. Well, I've done ones. Um, I'm surprised I didn't pick up the other stuff, to be honest. It's just so hard to get games and that here. Yeah, I imagine they have come like, but I've come like a couple of hours later, and then if you come, I'm assuming everyone just snatches up all the game stuff. Like, yeah, like, literally. Like, definitely, you've got to be here at this hours. time. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, just if you've got a price for them at all, a um, few games, a couple of controllers, and the Dreamcast, yeah, whatever. You think like five for that? Yeah, no worries. Was it 15 quid? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine by me, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Uh, do you have change for 20 at all, Will? Um, I don't you got five then. I've got a 20 note if that's all right. Lovely, thanks very thank much. You. Appreciate it. Thank you for that, Will. Yeah, no, Stop me up on some spare stuff. I like the Donkey Kong controller as well, it's ace. Yeah, it's not bad, The thing is, like, controllers, I don't have to do many of them. So yeah, like, you do, I, I don't you? They are quite addictive. Yeah, yeah, no, I've I started just, buying loads more. Yeah, I'm just got like, a draw for stuff. So, yeah, really. <laughs> Oh, nice to see you anyway, mate. Yeah, Thank you. Hello. Is it just this one Xbox game you had with you today? Probably, yeah. yeah. Lovely, thank you. Thank Cheers you. that. Yeah, good luck anyway, mate. I'm um, sorry, how much do you have for these, please? Um, that one's £10 and that too. Okay, no worries, thank you. Sorry about it, well, just to have a look what's in there. Yeah, just seen a couple of games, so thank you. Thank you.
I'm sure you have to run your game as plays. How much are we? Pound eight, thank you. I was no disc in that one just to let you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> no worries. Are these the only games you've got, yeah? Yeah. Thank you. Any racing ones? Yeah, there's a couple of Colin McRae's there. There's an F1 there as well. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. Don't think I saw any, one, any else. They could eat, you see. He won't get out of bed this morning. Oh, no. So you buying on his behalf for you? <laughs> yeah, I'll just take that one, thank you. Yeah. Cheers. I might have some uh, video games where might be interested Oh, yeah. Uh, Whereabouts, mate? Um, in your car? Uh, yeah, Black Focus. Up there. The Black Focus. Is, yeah. is someone running your stall? Yeah, it's um, How many rows back are you, sorry, mate? Uh, you near the van at all, or...? Not far. Uh, sorry, I can't read. Black cow with a boot Right, lovely. Thank you, mate. Yeah, right. Can't see a bloody thing being this height. Morning. Morning. He's just said I might be interested in some games, so I'd head on over. <laughs> Are these the only ones you've got today? Yeah. Okay, no worries. Yeah. Nothing for me there. Thank you, though. Are you all right? Yeah, these are about the ones we got, sorry. All right, how much would you have to run, please? Um, they're about like a pound each. Pound, that's a lot, lot. Pounds. You know, if this is a different colour on Wolfenstein, or is it just me? It's yes. weird, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I'm not sure if that should be that yeah. colour, to be honest. I don't think it had a special colour disc. No, I don't think it did either. No. Yeah, I'm trying. Actually, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying. 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 Yeah,
How much could you do on these ones, please? I've got seven here. Seven. Uh, Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. Bit limited today. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. There you go, mate. Thank okay. you. Oh god, you got some anyway. You got one, didn't you? Yeah, good. Got a couple of PS4 ones. All right. Oh yes, these. How much was you after for him, please? Sorry. How much was you after for him, please? Oh, um, I don't even know what they are. Oh yeah, there you go. That's all I've got. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Four quid each. Four each. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, a couple of the old DS games. That's it. Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, I'll get that Apex game if it's all right, please. Um, forward. Have you got change for five at all, please? Yeah, I have, yeah. I have you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers, thank you. <laughs> How much was your top, please? That a Sega one? The Sega one, it's three pounds. Three. Brand new. Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you, thank you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Did you have another gaming stuff or was that it? Thank you. Uh, no, that's all I've got. Alright, thank you. Oh, thank you, mate. Yeah. That's well good. Do you know when we got those ones a couple of years ago? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be ace for that. I hope, hopefully. Half, half the year old, she had a first time under pussy, and that's where it started. That's it. The <laughs> spiral now. Yeah. It's the best thing to collect. At least you got her into the good stuff. Exactly, yeah. Cheers, mate. Let's have a quick look. Thank you. Yeah, not, not a game, not a game, it's just more. You're yeah. fine. No, not, not being real. You're fine. And you don't have any good for that 
No, that bad, you got. No, you're right. <laughs> no worries. Proper random, but I never had that one. <laughs> I had the other ones, but oh, the they, they were ace, yeah. Backyard oh, wrestling. Fine. How much do you have for that DVD, please, mate? Uh, quid. Quid. <laughs> I had the other ones, but I know, back in the day, but I never had that one. Thank you. Cheers, mate. I'm traveling for this place. Uh, four quid. Thank you for that. Sorry, Cheers. Right, no Thank you. Thank you. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the gaming cave, man. It has been a while. Finally, car boot season has started here to my local. We have finally uh, had the car boots start back up. Yeah, that's right. They've had a massive reboot and we have been hitting them now. Uh, so, yeah, this is the first car boot of the season. Car boots back. All right. And we are here to hang. Uh, in the gaming cave. Thank you guys uh, for coming back and joining us for yet another season of car booting, retro gaming hunting adventures. If you're new around here, thank you for sticking by um, throughout the episode until this pickup section. So this is where we just chill and chat, go through everything that we picked up. So I've got a wicked beverage as well. Um, I'm quite into the um, the session IPA bears as well. Uh, so I thought I'd try out Cheeky Wingman. I love that. I love how it's like Top Gun um, kind of vibes with that. So yeah, I've got a cheeky beverage. It's, that's one of the most important things about filming a little pickups video. You know, when you're chilling at the end and, you know, we're going through everything, what we've picked up, all the, the absolute car boot haul, the treasures we've found. Um, the beverage is mega important. So yeah, we, we've gone with a nice wingman session IPA today. But I hope you guys are all well. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Um, so yeah, we'll go through uh, in no particular order what we did pick up. Um, and I'll try and recall from memory, because uh, this is actually from last weekend, because um, currently this weekend, this is on a Sunday, um, but however, um, it's very weather dependent, my car boot, my local, and unfortunately, the, the field, I've never known something so prone to getting waterlogged, unfortunately, the field is absolutely waterlogged today, um, so yeah, I'm finally... Um, recording this pickups video um, on behalf of last weekend. Um, I just wasn't sure. I did hold off uh, originally because I wasn't sure if I actually had enough footage to make an episode, but I feel like I can scrape enough footage um, to uh, kick off the first episode of the season. So thank you guys and uh, we'll jump right into them. So I do remember, I think these were about four quid each. Um, there was a couple of games. Um, I almost left this, Apex Legends, because the... Um, the standard edition, uh, the, sorry, the standard edition is not actually, um, I want to talk so quickly about stuff and then I, I just kind of glitch halfway, my bad. Uh, but yeah, um, the standard edition doesn't seem to be worth uh, too much, but I did double check on this, um, the Bloodhound edition did not come up on CX, but I did look online, it looks to go for around the 15 quid or so mark, uh, this Bloodhound edition. I did think it looked a bit different, um, but yeah, all there and everything. Um, I thought it looked a bit different from the uh, the standard Apex. Um, so, yeah, um, I thought I would uh, take a chance on that. If you change your mind on the first in line. And I did change my mind. Uh, so, yeah, we did pick up that for a cheeky four quid. So, not too bad, considering the return we can get. And, obviously, we can uh, turn those profits into uh, in, back into the collection, which is awesome. Um, so, yeah, found a stray one as well. I think this was 50p. I think it was. Um, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. Already have it in the collection, so happy to trade that into CEX. Nice, easy uh, little turnovers, the um, the Lego games are. 
we've got the classic Resident Evil 2 in the background um, for this uh, video as well, seeing as it is the first episode back. Uh, so the, I would love my favourite game of all time on the screen. But yeah, we will be varying that within each episode. I'm so happy to be back with you guys. I really am. Obviously, I've been streaming a lot um, during the off-season of the car boot. Um, but yeah, um, it's, it's just so wicked to have the car boots back. Um, but yeah, it's very footage dependent, unfortunately, because obviously the competition is ramped up more than ever, um, especially for video games, which is what we love and enjoy. Uh, but there are some miscellaneous pickups as well within this. So um, kind of on, on the you know line to video games and other things you guys may enjoy. So obviously I do throw those in as well. Uh, picked up other bits and bobs for the collection. Um, but yeah, like you say, um, I will try as much as I can to get as many episodes on. Um, if we do miss any kind of car boots, you know, due to bad weather or my shifts at work, so I have to work some weekends. Um, I do plan on actually doing some game hunts as well around some stores in the UK. Um, so that would be really awesome. Uh, Saw Thumb Retro Game Shop in York. Um, I really would love to go to um, Doorway to Darkness as well in Doncaster. Never visited that. Uh, so yeah, we can definitely do some kind of vlogging. Um, you know, and uh, game hunts around. Uh, I do have a CX, CX one to edit and put out as well. And also a visit to Mark the Magman. Ma massive shout out to Mark Jowett as well. Uh, he's been uh, our main supplier of retro gaming mags as well. So yeah, shout out to all those guys in the stores and everything. Uh, we'll hopefully be paying you a visit over the next year. Uh, I would love to do that and um, do some more game hunt videos alongside the car booting uh, where those videos are lacking if, we're, if our uh, episodes get a little off track. I still like to obviously provide the game hunts for you guys. Um, so this is one um, I've, I've wanted for ages. It's, it's nothing real or anything like that. You just don't see it that often. At least I haven't. I think I've only seen it in CX for maybe a few quid. But got this for a cheeky quid off the car. But we've got Taz Wanted on that. It does look real cool. Complete with Manuel. Looks all chaotic on the back. And I really like that. I just love the look of it. I um, absolutely love Taz. Um, I've actually um, started re-watching. Uh, do you remember the, the Tasmania cartoon? That's a bit of a throwback. So, uh, yeah, it's been cool um, to see Taz on that. So these ones, guys, these are actually Blu-rays. Um, and I'm actually going to um, trade these to CEX um, to accumulate some credit. So we've got some decent Blu-rays here. Um, loads of them, um, they're a bit of a write-off with CEX, especially DVDs. But some Blu-rays can be hidden gems. These were literally a guess. Um, so I do believe I should probably get maybe a few quid or so from each of these. Um so we'll see. So I got Ghostbusters 1 and 2 on that one. This this was an incredible um stall this was of Blu-rays and I did miss the the you know the picks of the bunch. Uh what is it the the creme of the crop what people say. Um so I did miss the main ones but I was literally filtering through and seeing what which ones could potentially bring us that profit um in with CEX trade to accumulate that credit. I've uh, got The Martian that was a total guess. Obviously it is a bit of an old movie. Um, it's not anything um, too recent. However, it, it is um, 4K Ultra HD. Loads of these um, have literally got like a few uh, versions within them. Um, but yeah, um, there is a... Is it on here? Oh, I was actually looking for the uh, digital HD. Um, I'll take a look in some of these Blu-rays, guys, when we do pick them up. Any digital HD codes um, I will display on the screen. So whether they've been used, I don't know, but I will display them for you guys so you can redeem them um, if they've not already been used. Um, this is the Taken Trilogy. That's a, that's a cool one um, to have, to be honest. Um, I think I've only got, like, Taken 2. I think 1 and 2, maybe. Um, so if it doesn't return decent credit, I might. I think I'll probably keep this one so I've got the trilogy. Uh, it's a wicked trilogy. The, the first one is... That's an absolute classic, especially. Uh, again, 4K Ultra HD plus Blu-ray, uh, Planet Earth 2. Don't know how the Planet Earth does uh, with CEX Trade, but I thought, again, we'll do a, a cheeky uh, risk on that. Um, not all the superhero, um, you know, Marvel, DC kind of Blu-rays, not all of them fetching the dollar in CEX, but uh, I thought, I'd, again, we'll give this a go. Spider-Man Homecoming. Again, 4K Ultra HD, the Blu-ray and the digital download. Is it in here? Is it in here? Let me look for the little thing. Oh, the, nice. There's a nice little um, little comic there as well. That's really cool. I'll definitely have to uh, read that before I uh, before I trade that on. Um, oh, I think, you know what? This person, I mean, they must have been a proper collector. To be collecting, obviously, like, you know, the proper 4K and everything. Um yeah, the, again, there's no um, little digital um, slip of paper. 
I think it should be on a little slip of paper, shouldn't it? Uh, as usual. Uh, but yeah, nothing on here, guys. I will keep an eye out, though, in future. Drop you guys some free movies for you to redeem. We all love a freebie, don't we? And it's my little thank you to you guys. Um, and uh, yeah, we've got Rogue One, a Star Wars story. That's pretty recent-ish, isn't it? I think this is standard Blu-ray, that one. And uh, again, another 4K one, Solo, um, a Star Wars story. Let's have a look in this one. Again, nothing in this. It, like I say, there must have been a proper collector and redeemed those. <laughs> but yeah, um, I actually got, I think there was seven here. There should be seven. Yeah, I actually got all seven Blu-rays, as you'll have seen on the footage, for a cheeky fiver. Absolutely cannot go wrong with that. That is what you need, an absolute gold mine of a stall like that. Absolutely awesome. Like you say, I was not first to that. You'll probably see in the footage. I've not yet gone through and edited, but you'll probably see I, I missed out on uh, a lot of things there. But yes, yeah, still managed to do really well. Uh, salvage what we could from that stall. That's freaking nice, that. I love how it says the eagle has landed as well. The car boot has landed. Absolutely awesome. No, it's nice to be back, man. I'm feeling fresh as well. Feeling real fresh. Um, in my new Vans tea. This is a brand new Vans tea from uh, my nana Betty, a.k.a. William Birkin's final form, as I call her. <laughs> uh, again, I think, I do actually own this already, uh, the Harry Piss Pot 8 movie collection on Blu-ray. I think I got that for like four quid. Um, sh I think should probably about double that or so in CEX credit. So yeah, nice little bargain there. Um yeah, and this was real funny, actually. <laughs> so you guys know our stream. Uh, we've had some real nice uh, kind of partnership, sponsorship opportunities as time's gone on. Um, and I actually bumped into my mate. I will probably say it's still, it was still a little bit dark on the footage, okay? And uh, so, yeah, saw this lad <laughs> uh, with, like, a box full of, like, stuff. Um, uh, I'm really sorry in advance, Will. I'm sorry, man. Uh, but yeah, um, saw retro in there, saw game, and I was like, how much was you after for all that, mate? And then he's just like, oh, you're right, Hall. And I was like, oh, hi, Will. He, he was, he's only my uh, affiliate manager from Green Man Gaming, who very kindly uh, sponsor us, <laughs> our channel, uh, with our streaming, and uh, very kindly provide game keys for us. Uh, so yeah, Will, I've actually known him for years, um, literally lived down the same street, and uh, it, like I say, he very kindly helps us, sorts us out with the streams. Uh, so yeah, my apologies, Will. Um, I, I just literally had my eyes on the box of gaming and stuff. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much, man, for the sweet deal you did uh, on this, if you are seeing this video. Um, yeah, he, he did a cheeky 15 quid uh, for a load of gaming goodness, so some really cool stuff here. And uh, a controller, like, I've been after for ages as well. Yeah, I love a bit of uh, what we got here. Uh, we literally got, like, quite a bit of retro as well. So, yeah, to start off, we got Wario, Master of Disguise. It is obviously an NTSC, as you can see, with the uh, E for everyone rating on there. But I thought that was really cool. It's not one you see very often. Um, so, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Don't know what the game's like or anything, but uh, yeah, we love a bit of a uh, bit of Wario as well, don't we? Right? We know we love a bit of a, a bad villain now and again, chilling like the villains we are. Uh, we got a couple um, for the Dreamcast of uh, the the VMUs, the the video um, or visual memory unit. Um, obviously, one's a little bit yellow, but always happy to collect these. Um, it's a really awesome touch um, on the Dreamcast, especially when I'm playing a Resident Evil game. I love that you get to see uh, the status on this little screen it's really awesome um so yeah it, it's a really awesome touch with the dreamcast i really um enjoy that console and i feel like it's it's a little underrated or like a little forgotten about or at least at the time um because obviously it, it was very overshadowed by the playstation one when that released but um but yeah like i say i love collecting for the dreamcast and never short of accessories like you say we could always move these on to mates and that if anyone's after uh bits and bobs uh what else did we get we got another uh, little bit of retro as well. Uh, Crash Team Racing on PS1. It was disc only, but uh, yeah, just a nice little platinum in there. So again, nice to see. You know, obviously not fully complete in boxes, but nice to see some PS1 especially. It's, it doesn't show up very often at my car boot. It was cool to see um, Final Fantasy VIII as well. He had a copy of that on platinum. Not got that in the collection, so I thought we'll grab that. A lot of people still telling me to... Um, to play Final Fantasy. Um, yeah, I've, I've never played a Final Fantasy game. There's the other disc. There's four discs in total. It's a freaking hefty game, of course. Um, but yeah, I don't know if to maybe start from Final Fantasy VII, maybe the OG. Um, 
I'm not sure how the remake is. I think it was quite well received, but um, yeah, not a series I'm very familiar with. I'm not sure if I'd do too well on Final Fantasy because uh, they're not really my strength, uh, these kind of games, like these kind of RPGs. I'm very selective. The only kind of RPGs I can manage to like survive on, Skyrim at a push, but I relied heavily on uh, one of my best mates, Hannah. She proper carried me through that. Um, I needed to consult her a lot on that. But Fallout, I can usually hold my own. I'm, I'm pretty all right on Fallout. I've played the fourth one mainly. Uh, currently playing through New Vegas as well, and I want to revisit three. But yeah, I absolutely love the Fallout games. They're my favourite kind of like RPGs. Um, but yeah, within uh, the bundle, a couple of controllers left. So this is um, a GameCube controller, obviously. It is a third-party one, but obviously we're never short of them. And it's always great to see as well. They're, they're good to have as spares as well, uh, you know. So, um, yeah, didn't hesitate in picking that up. And then, uh, yeah, a controller I've been after for ages. Uh, the Donkey Kong controller for the Switch. Proper cool. I love a bit of DK. Uh, I've always thought this was a, a cool, smart controller. So, uh, so, yeah, I was really happy to pick that up, especially uh, within this bunch of... Um, retro goodness so massive shout out to will uh, for doing this lot for 15 quid real decent uh price for the bundle so thank you again mate i do appreciate that um this one's really obscure this is um so yeah nice little sega sega nice little uh, <laughs> i couldn't i couldn't resist doing that a uh, nice little with the tag as well i think it is a small as well yeah it is my size however i will leave it all tagged up um, yeah, this is a Sega Rally, 07, 08 season, um, yeah, t-shirt, it's like a real, like, one of those, like, kind of cool, like, netted kind of vibe ones, massive Sega logo on the back, um, but yeah, I thought that was wicked, it was only, like, three quid, I think, um, just because it was so obscure and too nice to leave behind, I was like, we'll pick that up, so yeah, really nice, um, Sega Rally t-shirt, I love Sega Rally, especially, um, Especially, uh, what's I was going to say, the, the OG, Sega Rally Championship for the Saturn. That was my jam back in the day. Uh, but 07, 08, I'm trying to think, when did Sega Rally, I can't think off the top of my head, when did Sega Rally release, you know, on um, 360 PS3? Would that have been anything to do with that, do you think? Would it have been that kind of error? I'm not too sure. But um, yeah, really interesting to see. I don't know the history behind that, if it was any kind of promo item not too sure, but really cool to pick up, though. Um, so, yeah, we're getting towards the end of the pickup. So, pick this up pretty early on. Um, so, we've got um, a Nintendo DS bundle. Uh, we've got a DS Lite here. Um, so, yeah, we, we've got the obvious kind of brain training sort of games, Touch Master. So, they were included. So, little Brucey bonus in there. Um, obviously, it's got the charger, which is good. I did check and it all powered on uh, at the car boot. So, yeah, it's a really nice white... Um, Nintendo DS Lite, this is. Uh, it just needs, like, just a little touch-up, just a little clean-up and everything. It's got a few scuffs here and there, but not too shabby at all. Um, it's absolutely fine, this, to be honest. So, uh, and yeah, I think, yeah, it's got the stylus. Literally, most of the time, I was missing the stylus as well. Um, I think it's quite a shame, really, how, whoa, that, that has yellowed. Even the port has as well, like, where, where you put in the stylus, like, the little slot. Um, yeah, it's a shame how the pretty, uh, seem pretty susceptible to, um kind of yellowing um this looks like it's yellowed a little bit but obviously it's kind of mainly dirt and wear and tear um but yeah apart from that it is a pretty sleek looking little uh nintendo ds like it's cool to mess around on or obviously um i'll probably consider moving this on cex so uh, just bump up that credit you know i'm sure it should be somewhere around maybe the 20 odd quid mark i'm i'm sure um i'm sure that's about the going rate for them um so yeah i've got a final pickup guys this is is proper uh, random miscellaneous but i think it's proper cool so i don't know if we've got any wrestling fans in here and no this ain't any wwe or AEW. however i used to have um a couple of these dvds back in the day but i never had this one because this one is numbered number three um so this is the best of backyard wrestling too shocking for tv uh so yeah i, I really have like a guilty pleasure for like backyard wrestling i was like really like amazed at it um as a kid um so yeah i thought that was really cool um that is really weird there's some uh so there's a flyer in here saying buy the sickest videos under the sun online now at really sick clips.com just 9.99 each for four weeks only i don't know what this is but obviously it's got like cky which is like bam majera his brother and the crew uh doing stunts <laughs> jeez 
There's like Happy Tree Friends, Bikini Bandits. There's there's actually, I shit you not, I think there's like a Snoop Dogg porno on this. This is awful, man. Snoop Dogg's doggy style. That's that's terrible. That's, that's crazy. Cray. That's really caught me off guard. Um, there's Backyard Babes as well. But yeah, they are the Backyard Wrestlings I used to have. I didn't have anything else on here apart from the Backyard Wrestling, the CKY. Um, yeah, I used to have... Um, I'd, yeah, I remember having both of those, one and two. Uh, I've, I think I've still got the, the first one, the one with the blue cover. I've still got that kicking around somewhere, but th that's insane. <laughs> that's insane how uh, that came up. But this is the beauty of them as well. It's not actually um, only about the content, but it's about the flyers and the promos that were around. It's freaking insane, isn't it, right? Uh, some of the stuff included in these. But anyway, um, I've got a proper um, guilty pleasure for Backyard Wrestling. I, I think it's wicked. Uh, it's so cool seeing them all gory and getting bloodied up. Uh, but yeah, guys, that has been the pickups for this week. Not a massive haul. However, it's awesome to chill out with you guys and uh, go through the pickups for sure. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed what you guys have seen. Um, like I say, most of it will be up uh, mainly for CEX Trade. Uh, obviously, I'll, I'll be keeping the retro bits, mainly the bits we got from Will. Uh, you know, the PS1, the DK controller, the GameCube, Dreamcast VMUs. We'll see how we are with that in the collection and bits. And uh, yeah, like I say, I'll keep the Sega Rally top uh, all tagged up. Um, but yeah, more stuff to accumulate uh, the CEX credit. So that's where we're at, guys. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the first Kabu episode back of the season. Uh, I do appreciate your continued support. And more than anything, I appreciate your patience. I've had a lot of requests over months, over time, literally over like the past six months or so. Um, you know, where's Kabu footage next episode? Unfortunately, it's kind of out of my control. There's none really uh, to kind of within a reasonable distance for me to travel to um within this off season time um because unfortunately my car boot it kind of drops off around um it's around like september sort of time um and then it doesn't start up literally until around end of march april time uh, so we do have probably about five six months off unfortunately um so yeah that's that's where we're at and unfortunately that's where i've been so don't think i'm ditching you guys who uh come to the obviously for the car boot episodes i know i stream as well and i do make other gameplay and content uh, but please don't uh, think that i've forgotten about you guys or that i don't care it's literally um the problem is with the car boot like i can stream when i want i can record gameplay when i want but like with the car boot it's footage dependent and i have to rely on the car boot obviously being on uh, so that's where i've been and my apologies for that thank you for sticking by me i do pre appreciate all you guys thank you and uh, so yeah to all my long time standing subscribers thank you for uh, stopping on back with us to everyone new around here please if you haven't already um do consider sticking by with us uh, for more Kabu episodes. Like you say, I do stream on multiple platforms. So I'm here on Holster TV over on YouTube. I'm also Holster TV on TikTok and I'm Holster TV streams over on Twitch. Please feel free to give me a follow on any of those platforms if you fancy, uh, you know, tune in for my gaming streams and other gaming clips and content. I do appreciate you all. So thank you guys for joining me. I will raise a cheeky... Uh, wingman ipa to you guys thank you for stopping by as always and i will catch you guys very soon in the next kaboot episodes take care of yourselves and i'll see you in a bit see you in a bit guys